Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the starting 11 show, Republic of Ireland take on Qatar tomorrow evening in a friendly game. Obviously, this is the the weird game of our group. We obviously played them before. We drew 1-1 with them in Hungary, the neutral venue. This time around, it is in the Aviva Stadium with fans. It seems like we're going to have a sellout. 25,000 are going to be, well, tickets have been sold. So um, let's hope that we're going to have a great atmosphere going into the game tomorrow. Um, off the back of the positive result at the weekend there against Azerbaijan and hoping the boys can take the momentum from the weekend into this game there's only a couple of injury doubts um, but this is the the lineup I would like to see start now Stephen already spoke in his press conference the press conference has just gone live there on the channel if you want to check it out as well uh, he basically said that um, Quivin Kelleher was going to start and he wasn't going to make too many wholesale changes. So I'm going to base off what he said. He also said Josh Cullen and Daryl Horgan were doubts as well. So I'm going to base off that as well. So that all kind of came into me thinking as I made up this lineup. So I'm going to go with Quivin Kelleher in goal. He's already said that he's going to start in goal. I think it makes total sense to give him a run. I kind of feel sorry at the same time for Mark Travers because he's had an excellent start to the season with Bournemouth. Um, whether Kelleher gets a half and Travers gets a half, I think that could suit all parties. I think Bazunu has done um, has done great in every game that he's played for Ireland, so I think he's okay. I think he's the number one now. I think he's nailed on for that for the time being, um, unless Kelleher can produce an absolutely unbelievable uh, vein of form and maybe gets in the Liverpool first team for a few weeks or a few months if anything happened to Allison, but. Um, at the moment it's Bazuna's position to lose but for this game considering it's a friendly and I don't think Keller is going to really do anything drastic that would make us lose this game I think he's been a solid um, keeper and backup keeper for Liverpool so I think it makes sense to have him in there then uh, I'm going to stick with the same back three that played against Azerbaijan I think to give Shane Duffy John Egan and Andrew Omabama Deddy that um just that time to get to understand each other that bit more obviously with Andrew coming in um, this if this is to be the case this is the lineup that he sticks with him it would probably be his first start in the Aviva Stadium and it would be great for him to be getting a cap in front of his family starting in front of his family as well um, I think he has been an absolute phenomenon when it comes to um, you look at the age of him coming in then he's just slotted in so naturally um, he's he's been absolutely outstanding Shane Duffy and John Egan again I think their understanding is getting better with every game they play and they've been solid together I think uh, Stephen said it was one loss in the last seven and it's uh, our, our strongest position is defence I think Nathan Collins is maybe unlucky not to start this game in, in this team but he may well start the game but I think at some stage we should see Collins but again I just want to see that little bit of continuity at the back um, sticking him on the right side uh, right wing back I'm going to go Matt Doherty I think he needs game time to try and get back into the Spurs team I think in 90 minutes here again could help him and help his cause and maybe get him on the score sheet or maybe get him more involved in, in our attacks and um, he could help us out and um, it could help him then kick start his season with Spurs under Nuno his former manager so I think that makes sense then I'd like to see Andy Stevens come in at uh, left wing back I think he needs games I think Sheffield United were a bit hesitant to let him go but I think if he was to come in and even just get a 45 minutes under his belt uh, it'd be great to see him there he'll give us that natural balance uh, on the left hand side there and I think it makes sense just to put him in there so that's my kind of back five or back six if you want to include the goalkeeper in that then in, in midfield as the sitting midfielder just because Josh Cullen is out or well he's not out sorry he's uh, a doubt so he probably won't start the game but Conor Howard has started well with Sheffield United I think you know what you're going to get with him I think he could be the player to come in there and just be that sitting player and just look to play diagonal balls and play the ball in behind and try and penetrate, penetrate the opposition so I think putting Howard in there makes sense and then in front of him Hendrick I think he's shown um, the last few international games that he likes having someone sitting behind him so it allows him then that a free range to try and get involved to try and link the attack and the play and um, try and get himself into the box as well so I think that will make sense having Hendrick there uh, just in front of him and then Jason Knight to come in 
and play uh, as the attacking midfielder as well, uh, just to be further forward. Or maybe Hendrick can give us that energy and get into the box and try and get on the ball and play like he did kind of against Andorra where he got the, the goal and he got the um, assist as well for Daryl Horgan. I'd like to see him get involved in the play, linking attack, getting involved, getting into the box, arriving late and uh, hopefully getting a goal. So, yeah, that's my midfield. And then up front, um, I spoke about continuity. You know, Adam Eda seemed like he was sick the other evening. So I think give him the night off in this case and go with Callum Robinson up top down the middle and Aaron Connolly I just think that they would be our two best attacking threats at the moment people will argue that Troy Paris um, is in fame er, form sorry with MK Dons and he is and I would not have no problem if Troy started ahead of Aaron I would just like that's just, just the team I would like to see so I'd like to see Robinson uh, maybe add another goal to his goal scoring record for Ireland because there's a goal scoring record I think he's only got three goals to one against them um, New Zealand and then two the other night so I'd like to see him get another goal under his belt and I'd love to see Connolly get his first international goal and fans to start getting behind him and, and backing him and hopefully then we'll start seeing how good of a player he actually is because we know how good he can be um, but he seems to get a bad rap with, with certain fans and stuff like that so I'd just like to see him uh, prove some of the haters wrong and uh, get himself an international goal he, he obviously wasn't involved Against Azerbaijan, Troy Parr probably is in the back next in the back in order, considering he came off the bench against Azerbaijan. But you can let me know your thoughts in the comments on the starting eleven I've gone with. Let me know your starting eleven. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, check out all our other content from the final word against Azerbaijan, the match preview against Qatar, and then the press conferences from today with Quivin Kelleher and Stephen Kenny. Thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you all soon and take care. God bless.